In this lesson we're going to learn a lovely waltz called Flatwater Fran. I have Shea Coyle here on the button accordion to play it. We're going to listen to it once through and then we'll bring up the chord charts, we'll slow it down and I have a bonus at the end so stick around for that. <laughs> Hey, it's Aidan here, AidanCoin.com, where I teach you how to play in dadgad guitar. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about Irish music, songs, and guitar techniques, click the subscribe button now and the bell so you don't miss out on anything. For the last few weeks, I've been touring around America with Socks in the Frying Pan. It's good to get back on the road after two years of no gigs. And we had this waltz on the set list, so I thought it'd be a nice one to teach you. So let's start off with the chords. So there's a lot you can do with this tune. I'm going to show you the basic chord to start off. So we're in the key of G, so that's cap on the fifth fret. And it's waltz time, so 3-4 time. And we're going to start off with this D chord. So So what I did there is going from this D major up to this C chord. It's actually it's a G shape. So if we don't have the capo on, it's a G shape. So we're going D to G, back to D. So da ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 ba da da ba da ba ba da ba da 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 ba. So the extra chord I added in there was this E minor shape. So that's second and third finger on the second fret of the low D and low A string. So from the top da ba da 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 D and G back to D and D. And E, and E, up to G. So the second half of the first part is quite similar. We can go... So what we're doing there is going D, and D, and C, and D, back to E minor, and E minor. And G, and then this is where we can add in that extra chord, which is this. It's an A shape, A major shape, and then back to the D shape. Just a walk up. The second half is very nice, where we have this G falling back to a D. It goes da ba da 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 ba da 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 da. G falls back to D. From here, so we do that three times, and then we're going to this E minor to D. So from the top of the second half. So that's going from this E minor up to, it's an A shape, a D chord. If you're enjoying things so far, please do click the thumbs up button, it helps quite a lot. So the second half is probably the most interesting where I have this bit of a pop and it kind of goes like this. Excuse my lilting there, but so we're going from this, this G shape falling back down to the D. Then we're up to this A shape where the pop kind of takes place. And then we're falling down to this, either this F sharp shape or F sharp dominant seven, if you want to throw that in. So 
And to finish off, I was just playing this E minor shape up to the G again, falling down to the D. So they'd be the, the, the kind of um, basic chords that you could play around with. There's nothing set in stone here, so you can just play around with these shapes and see what works for you. And uh, let's try and go through it slow, and I'm going to throw in some, some extra stuff, and I'll show you in a minute. So as you can see, the way I'm playing it in the video is quite free-flowing. Um, I'm basing it off of these inside skeleton scales and outside skeleton scales. I'll leave videos and links to them here and down in the description. But what else can we add on to this it would be melody lines. So from the top, da -ba -dun -dun, da -ba -dun -dun, da -ba -dun -dun. and it's nice to just add in these little bits of melody here and there uh, along with the chords. So uh, that would be going from the fourth fret on the G string down to the second fret on the G string open middle D and then you have the fourth fret of that D string so so you're going from that D chord dun, 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 dun. just a nice little thing you could throw in a couple other things you might have seen me do maybe some some uh, walking bass going up from with this octave shape so this is an octave shape here. I'm just walking up from this, what would be an E to an F sharp, G, A, or you could do it on the higher octave. And it's just nice maybe to throw in now and again. It's um, little things like that that kind of help. Uh, then maybe some slides. That'd be a slide on the, the D string there. It's going from the second fret up to the fourth, back down, and then a pull off onto this D modal. Um, some other chords that'd be nice to throw in, maybe this B, or a one finger B. That'd be another one. You could um, add in this, which would be an A dominant seven, might work as long as it's the same shape as we had with this F sharp dominant seven shape. So that may be a few other things you could add in to this tune. So I promised you a bonus as well. So here is Shea Coyle to play the tune once round without me getting in your way.
Well, I hope you got something out of that. If you'd like to continue your dad yad learning, here is the Pride of Petrovor Hornpipe tutorial with Shane Hayes on the Button Accordion. Enjoy. I'll talk to you on the next one.